Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of June's Fair. Today, we're going to be making black bean burgers vegan style. So here, I'm starting with a quick cheat. I'm just putting my bell peppers, onions, and garlic with a little olive oil and some foil and popping that in the oven while I prepare the rest of my ingredients. Just to soften up the vegetables, didn't really need to saute them, but I wanted them to be softened. So here I'm taking some cornstarch, equal parts cornstarch and water, and I'm mixing that together. This is going to be my egg replacement, my binder, because I'm doing a vegan style black bean burger. You can substitute just a raw egg here. So once you have your two tablespoons of cornstarch, add equal parts water and go ahead and combine. I didn't like the consistency, so here I'm adding just a little bit more water, about half a tablespoon, I'd say. And then I'm giving that a little bit more stirring. All right, once you have the consistency that you like, go ahead and add all of your seasonings. Now, I'm going to season the cornstarch mixture, but I am gonna also add seasoning to my black beans. So, I'm adding garlic powder, uh, pink Himalayan sea salt. I'm going to go in with some cumin, some chili powder, What else am I going in? Some paprika. I think I'm going to throw in some hot sauce. Yep, there's the hot sauce. And then I'm going to combine again. And then I'm gonna sit that to the side once I get it well incorporated. And then I'm gonna start on my black bean base. Don't they look good? So here I have two cans of black beans rinsed and drained. I'm just gonna mash them up until they are to my liking. Now I did keep some of the beans whole just because I wanted to be able to see what I was eating. So I would say uh, about 50-50. 50% mashed and then the rest of them can be whole or sort of mashed. So mash that. And then you're going to start, oh, pick that up. Mash that until it's the consistency that you want. And then you're gonna start adding in all the rest of your ingredients. So here I took my vegetables out of the oven and I'm going to add them, I'm just gonna pour them on in. Again, that was a whole bell pepper, I believe a half an onion, and about three or four garlic cloves just chopped, okay? So once you have that, give that a good mixing together. Next, I'm gonna go in with that cornstarch seasoned mixture. Give that a stir. Mm. 
Then I'm going to add those breadcrumbs. Um, I used a half a cup of breadcrumbs, bread or just under a half. Give that a stir. Adding in the rest of my breadcrumbs. I'm adding them in a little bit at a time. So that's why I said just under a half a cup. I'm kind of eyeballing it to see if I like the consistency. All right, now I'm going to go in with my additional seasonings. Here I'm adding a little bit more cumin. Then I'm going to go in with some more pink Himalayan salt, some Old Bay, just because it has all the OG seasonings in it. Then I'm gonna add, mm, about three splashes of water. Give that a good combining. And then lastly, I'm going to add my flour. Now I started with a fourth a cup and I did it just like I did those breadcrumbs. I just gradually added in more if I needed more, but I did start with one fourth cup of all purpose flour. that well combined and I just stuck with a fourth and then a few more sprinkles I think I added off camera and here is the consistency that you want now I'm going to take a greased full line baking sheet and I'm going to spoon on my mixture form it into the the size that I'd like my patty to be. All right, this mixture made six burgers total. 